I'm back. Well, that's one Shabbos I'll never forget. Okay, where did I leave off? After the service, we had a kiddush at the SAJ house, gefilte and kichel. I didn't eat one bite. Everyone was saying mazel tov and smiling at me. It was like we all knew this was a big deal, but also it was just like any other Shabbos morning service. Papa told my sisters it would be their turn next, and I don't think it even crossed their minds. After the kiddush, we walked home, Papa went out to give a talk, and later we had a small party. Just family, nothing fancy. Papa doesn't believe in fancy parties. Mama served rugula, tea, and my favorite, hot dogs for the kids. I would eat hot dogs every day if I could. Oh, I also got some gifts. Let's see, I got this Kodak camera and this tennis racket. <laughs> I told my friends in school today. Some of them thought it was great and asked me lots of questions. I told my favorite teacher, Miss Lasker, and she was so excited. She believes in women's emancipation. She thinks this will be a really big deal. I hope so, but I'm not so sure. It definitely didn't feel like such a big deal. I mean, I've been studying Jewish texts my whole life. If I hadn't become a boss mitzvah, would it have any effect on my life? I don't know. Maybe one day this will become normal and all Jewish girls will become boss mitzvah. And no one will think it's weird. And no one will think women are less than men in any way. So, I have some bad news. I may have to shut this down for a while. The other day, Mama told Papa that I keep a journal just like he does, and he made me show it to him. I ripped out a few of the pages, but still, I was so mad. Why can't he respect my privacy? Anyway, I'm worried he'll find out about this too. Until then, I'll leave you with some photos. La Hitra Ot Chaverim.